Welcome back to my cooking channel. Today I have Gia joining me again. Hi guys. My beauty. Um, so today we're gonna make um, pasta fazool. That's how I say it. Pasta, we would say pasta with beans or, yeah, but the Italian way to say it is pasta fazool. So today we're making pasta fazool and it's one of, again, my kids' favorites. Gia, you love pasta fazool, right? Yeah, we grew up eating pasta fazool all the time. My mom made it, my grandparents made it. It was like an after school nice little snack when we got home. Really quick and easy again to make, very easy. And what I love about um, the beans is it's great protein. So beans are like, yeah, if you're looking for protein and if you're vegan, pasta bazool is the way to go. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not eating it. <laughs> oh I'm gonna put him in the Sunday sauce. Oh my God, stop. Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm here today, All right, go up, up, up. <laughs> So we're gonna start. Um, we're gonna chop up um, celery, Gia. Right here with celery. We're gonna use, of course, my favorite thing to use, my chopper. Do you wanna chop? You want me to do it? Sure. All right. Those are a little big, don't you think? Yeah, we can make them smaller. <laughs> can make them smaller. It go harder. All right, let me do it. Me? Hold on, right here. Watch, watch me do it. <laughs> okay. See, I love my chopper. All right, there you go. Okay. So, and then here, cut those in half. Those. Okay. Chopping it all up. Oh, I like to take my time. You're like, well. Oh. Yeah, well, I have four kids. I know, I know. She takes, she, you know, she said she likes to take her time. But I do, I'm always in a rush, so I'm always doing things quick. So, yeah, so this is why. So, and then also here on the cutting board, guys, I have um, garlic. Here, cut the onion. Onion and carrots. So we're gonna put it um, in the pan right here. Um, I have olive oil right here, so we're gonna start with the olive oil. Pour the olive oil in the pan. And right here, I, st I already started boiling the pasta, and we're making fusil pasta. So the fusil pasta is already boiled. Um, so the pasta fusil recipe is in the Fabulicious Cookbook. And you can use any pasta you want. I mean, today I'm using fusil. But you can use any pasta you want. Like you can use uh, my shells. mom. Yeah, my mom was big on using um, shells when she made pasta with soul. Okay, so let's finish chopping up the celery right here. You can follow the recipe in the Fabulicious Cookbook for the pasta with soul. But I always do everything by eyeball, like because I know, you know, I cook from my family. So, but if you want, you could just follow the recipe. Pasta fazool, when you say it, it sounds very intimidating, but it's the easiest dish to make. And I'm adding all these, like um, like the celery, the carrots, but you don't really have to. If you have the quickie sauce, you just you could just make you know just add the beans to it, and that's it, and have it and make it that quick and easy. And then with the pasta, I don't know. The vegetables give it that extra taste, though. Yeah, the vegetables are better, but I'm saying you don't have to if you're in a rush. My rings are starting to pop off. Let me just put them right here. Because with the chopper. You want to start grabbing it, Gia? And, oh, oh, you know what we'll to do with this. I'm putting it in the pan. Hold on, hold on. I'll just, well, I'll just. Why don't start. you just slide it all into the. Yeah, we'll do that. Now you're chopping up your carrots. Yes. So, yeah. I did the garlic. It's all going into the same place anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so just chop it all. Okay, the carrots are kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting a workout with this. Definitely getting an arm workout. Okay, last one. OK. 
Okay, woof. Okay. Um, okay. Can you smack it? No, that's good. That's just fine. Put it, you could put it in, the, in there. Okay. All right. All right, so this is it all chopped up. Here it is. So now we're going to put it in the pan. We're going to turn on the stove. So um, that's going to cook for five minutes until it's translucent. And we're going to add some spices to it and the quickie sauce. So right here I have the quickie sauce right here. What's the quickie sauce? That's, the, that's my sauce. Oh, you call it quickie sauce? Yeah, that's, the, that's what I named it in, the, in my recipe, yeah, in the skinny Italian. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, so when you were little, that's, that's what I named it, the quickie sauce, because oh. it's really simple and easy. It's the sauce, um, you know, that we jar, yeah, and then you well, add, nice. yeah, and then you add. I just add, didn't know you called it Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's what I named it in my cookbook. Oh, okay. Like, all my recipes, like, I, I named a recipe after you, I named a recipe after no, Gabriella. I named the Tagliatelle with peas and ham. Yes. Uh, which one's after yours? I think the Tagliatelle with oh, peas Gia's and ham. Oh, Gia's Tagliatelle with peas and ham, see? Mm -hmm. I know, so. Look, Gia, so this is easy. So, like, you're getting to learn how to make a lot of recipes. Yeah. Smells good, right? Yeah, it You know what? It's the onion and garlic that give us such a good smell. So we're gonna add, of course, red pepper flakes. Our favorite. You wanna sprinkle it? Sure. But uh, not that much. You're not adding the whole thing? No, no oh. way, that's too much. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, right here. Um, here's salt. Yeah, sprinkle. Just like that, yeah. Pepper, right there. Okay, so then let's, let's turn this together like this. Stir it all together. Okay. And then um, let's add the quickie sauce. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Everyone always gets so intimidated by cooking, but it's, not, it's so easy, guys. Just try it and try my recipes and you guys will be like, oh my God, this is so easy and it's so much fun and do it with your friend or do it with your honey or your partner, like do it with, you know, it's, it makes it fun when you're doing it with someone else and maybe, you know, or surprise someone and then let them try your food and they're gonna be like, oh my God, it's so delicious. Then you're gonna feel so good about yourself. Yeah, I started cooking when I got to school. I know, yeah, and then you started cooking for your friends. All right, this is chicken broth, so we add the quickie sauce and now chicken broth. As oh yeah, so tell me about it. No, but as long as I have a recipe, I'm fine. So, as long as you have a little recipe, then I feel like you, it's easy to follow. Okay, that's it. Now we're gonna add the beans. You can use any beans you want. These are Roman beans, but you can use kidney, um, kidney red beans, you can use canela beans, you can use black beans. Any beans you like, you can use. You could even use chickpeas, like um, uh, my father, we'd, we would make in our home called uh, pasta, pasta cui chigiri. That means pasta with chickpeas. Yeah, so that, that was a big staple piece, staple pasta dish in our, in our house. Remember pasta, remember when no no used mm -hmm. to make that a lot, yeah. Dad made that recently too. Oh, he did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so mix the beans in. There we go. Um, yeah, you want to keep it at a low, medium heat so all the flavors simmer together and, and the beans would become more tender. Okay, so now, while this is cooking, the pasta's done. So we're gonna drain the pasta real quick. Shake it. Okay, right there, so. And then Gia, you could just pour the pasta. Hold on, yeah, yeah, hold on. You could even, um, Keep it like that. And I pour it, bring it over here. Perfect. Okay, that's it. Put it over so it doesn't drip. Okay. Yeah, and then we're gonna mix this in. Just like that. That was seriously like the easiest recipe ever. Right, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it'd be so, so quick. Yeah, so easy. Yeah, I want you to cook for me. I don't, I'm not gonna be that nona that like you gotta always come to my house. 
I'm coming to your house. <laughs> you can't. I'm them. serious. I'm coming to your house. Well, you should want to like come over and bring my kids food and stuff like that. No, absolutely not. I did it enough. I have four kids of my own. And then I think what you should invite. What if they ask you? What if they say I'm hungry? If they come over to my house, I'll make them food. Oh, okay. But when I come over to your house, I don't want to cook. I want, a, I want you to cook for me. Okay, you can cook too. I mean, maybe I'll help a we'll little bit. Together, All right, we'll All cook right. together, mom. All right, we'll cook together. But I know me and my mom used to cook together. I miss my mom. See, I know we used to cook together. Especially in the beginning, you have to like help me. I well, when I first got married, I used to call my mom. You will call me, and I, and I'll tell you the recipes over the phone. That's what that's what my mom used to. That's what I used to do with my mom when I first got married. Right there. Oh, yummy. Yeah, that looks so good. Look how good that looks. Right that here. It does look really good. There's this right here. Yeah. And just like that. Looks so good, right? And Very then you good. can add some basil on top to make it look pretty. Just like that. It's crazy how the basil makes it look so much better. And some, <laughs> and then right here, some. All right, so right here. And then Gia, you could also add some cheese right here. Mm -hmm. I love my pasta as well with cheese. Yes. And then just like that, grate it over it. And here you guys go, pasta was all. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to my mom's cooking channel.